uh, Shalina, to welcome Shalina Lalji to present uh, the Ayaz and Shalina Lalji and Family Student Scholar Award. And this award is to honor Dr. Lalji, who is a devoted father and husband and who courageously lives with ALS uh, and has since 2017. The mission of the Lalji ALS Foundation is to bring awareness and inv innovation to help find a cure for ALS. And that we are very honored to um, have them present this award at the ALS One uh, annual conference. Shall Thank you so much, James. Thank you so much, James. It's so nice to be here and see so many amazing faces on Zoom. Um, good morning, everybody. It is my honor and privilege to announce the inaugural um, Eyes and Lalji, Eyes and Shalina Lalji Student Scholar Award, like uh, James mentioned. Um, this is in honor of my darling husband, Ayaz Lalji, who is a dentist, an entrepreneur, a husband, and a father of two, his most important role that he takes very much pride in. Um, I'd like to first thank Dr. Merit Sukovic and her team at the Healy Center to help us create this award, and Jen DiMartino and her team at ALS1 to help us announce this award. Um, Ayaz was diagnosed when he was only 51 years old in 2017, and like James said, we are still in the fight, doing everything that we can to support not only his body, his mind, and spirit, but also trying to do our part as a foundation and as a family in moving this field forward towards a cure and towards improving the quality of life for all people living with ALS today. To that end, um, our foundation, ALS Heroes, has three main objectives, the first of which is ALS repair and regeneration. We are dedicated to bringing brilliant minds together to explore innovative ways to help the people who are living with ALS today to actually regain function, which is not that far off, as we have seen in some of the trials being done and thus improving his quality, their quality of life. Um, this will most likely be a combination, as we all know, of biological therapies combined with existing and new technologies. So in order to promote this goal, we established an endowment at the Healy Center for ALS to fund annual awards for bright researchers, scientists, and innovators to focus on ALS repair and regeneration. And this is our third year for that award. This year, we began the first Student Scholar Award for ALS Repair um, in honor of Ayes and others who are fighting valiantly um, with ALS. Um, and this award really aims to recognize the brightest young scientists in the field of ALS and to facilitate meaningful research that would help us understand the mechanisms underlying axonal and neuronal repair and regeneration in ALS and other neurodegenerative diseases um, that may be translatable to ALS. So I know a lot of us agree that young bright minds see opportunities, not obstacles. They focus on solutions instead of getting stuck on the problems. So my family and I hope to inspire these young scientists to take on ALS as a challenge and find those biological and technological solutions to return the true function to heroic pals. Um, this award is available to undergraduate, graduate, or summer students, but they must be conducting research under the direction of a mentor. Uh, technology is changing the landscape of so many neurodegenerative conditions, and to that end, I'd love to take just a second to invite everybody to also please attend day three of the symposium on Monday, which will be focused on neurotechnology, digital biomarkers, AI, and BCI. With that, this year, under the supervision of his professor, Dr. Jose Milan, Dr. Delan Liu is recognized as the Lalji Student Scholar for his project that integrates artificial intelligence modules, language models, and reinforcement learning in brain-computer interface to restore efficient communications for people with ALS. His project exemplifies innovation and understanding of the fundamental knowledge and technology needed to make strides in the fight against ALS. Now we'd like to invite Dr. Liu to briefly present his research. Thank you. Thank you, Shalina. So I'll just um, quickly share my screen. Can everyone see the slideshow? Looks terrific. Thank you. So um, I'll be presenting about robust and accurate spelling based on EEG error-related potentials for ALS. And I'm Dylan, I'm supervised by Professor Jose Milan, and we're from the EC department and the neurology department of UT Austin. 
And we just want to pay our special thanks to Drs. Laji and the Laji family for supporting this project. So moving on to the introduction and research problem. So in recent decades, we've seen a lot of developments in EEG BCIs um, in restoring communication abilities for AOS patients. And a lot of those BCI devices are relying on neural signals from the motor cortex. And a large problem of this is that AOS is indeed a neurodegenerative disease that affects the motor neurons in the motor system. So a lot of those motor signals are not reliable anymore. And not to mention that EEG signals are non-stationary and have very low SNR. So the problem is that EEG BCIs designed for AOS patients tend to be non-stationary, low performance, and performance tends, tends to degrade over time. But fortunately, we have other EEG biomarkers that we can record accurately and that we can exploit. And one of those is error-related potentials, which is, a uh, which is a neurocorrelate of a cognitive process, specifically error monitoring. And because it's a cognitive signal, it's well and better preserved in AOS patients in comparison to motor signals. And also we have seen tremendous advances in artificial intelligence in recent decades which we can integrate into BCI systems to improve the accuracy and robustness of those systems. And just to give you an example here, this is a research from Martin Spieler in 2012, where he shows the error-related potentials from three different groups of people. H1 is healthy young people, H2 is healthy elderly, and A2 is a group of six AOS patients. So looking at the grand average of those error-related potentials recorded for an error monitoring task, you can see the error-related potentials from the AOS patients are similar in terms of peak-to-peak -peak amplitudes and latencies um, in comparison to their healthy counterparts. And there is they can record, they can decode those error-related potentials with a very high classification accuracy of 74% in this paper. So given this established knowledge, we propose an EEG PCI speller that combines three distinct modules together, an e ERRP decoder, a reinforcement learning algorithm, and a language model working collectively together to increase the robustness of the system against EEG misclassifications. So just to give you a bit more details of, of the system, the system consists of a cursor moving around on a 2D matrix between different characters. And so it's always moving towards the intended, the most probable target letter. And the user's job is to simply monitor the cursor's action and evaluate it as erroneous or correct. And whenever the cursor is moving in an erroneous direction, meaning that it's not moving towards the intended target letter, and the error related potentials, error related potentials may be generated and can be decoded. So there will be an asynchronized ERP decoding working in the background. And by using the output of the ERP decoder as a reward signal for reinforcement learning algorithm, the, the um, probabilities of the target letters of the 2D matrix can be updated. And then the cursor will move towards the, most, the next most probable target letter um, following the optimal motion policy. And upon selection of the target letter, the language model will then estimate the next most probable target letter, giving it the highest initial probability. And also recently, we have seen research showing that there is um, increasing quantitative impairment associated with AOS progression. And despite we realize that ER, the error-related potentials are generally quite well preserved in AOS patients, it can degrade over time following cognitive impairment and the disease progression. So we propose a couple of the speller with transcranial alternating current stimulation to restore ERRP in those occasions. So our lab has present, had um, some present and past work that lies the foundation for this um, proposed um, project. So for instance, we have a discrete version of the speller that can operate robustly with up to 30% of ERP classification errors, and also achieve a very high communication rate of 28 seconds per letter on an AOS patient. And also we have shown that ERP can indeed be successfully decoded asynchronously in a continuous task. And lastly, we've shown that TACS, alternating current stimulation in the theta frequency can indeed restore and increase error-related potentials peak-to-peak -peak amplitude in a continuous task. So in summary, we want to develop an ERP-based EEG BCI speller that is natural because the, um, the, the, the user's task is similar, is simply to monitor the cursor's action and to kind of drive it to the, to the correct target.
And also we want that we want a scholar to be of high communication rates, especially when EEG signals start to decline. And also we want to develop the scholar that can be used in both lock-in and complete lock-in um, patients. And here are the references. And thank you for your attention. Thank you very, I mean, my goodness, this is incredible work, really changing the way that people living with more advanced ALS can sort of interact and communicate, which is one of the main things that we hear from people with ALS um, about the quality of, of life and uh, as the disease progresses. Um, I'll, I'll open it to any questions. We have time for a question or two. Um, in the meantime, so this is scalp scalp based electrodes and and is it a it's a summated recording or you know where where is the most important recording coming from temporal frontal uh prefrontal so error, the the newer generator of the error of attention will be anterior single cortex so this the most significant part of the recordings will be from the frontal and central frontal central part of the brain really interesting really interesting all right. Thank you very much for, for 